Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode three of Two Amazon Sellers and a Microphone. Today, we are talking Prime Day prep. It's Ooh, official. Good Amazon. One. <laughs> Amazon announced it. We've been <laughs> waiting for months. Everyone's been on uh, on the edge of their seat figuring out when Prime Day is going to be here, and it's here, October 13th. Uh, so uh, I'm Dustin Kane. On with me is Chris Gramlich, as always. Chris, how you doing? Good, Dustin. Good. This is going to be an interesting topic. I know there were some thoughts that uh, this day may not come, but uh, with everything going on, but it seems like Amazon is moving in the right direction with this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot of really interesting things uh, wrapped around Prime Day. Um, I mean, typically in the past, Prime Day has just been great for both of us. Um, and it's always in July. Uh, yep. they, am, the Amazon set up Prime Day to kind of make it a little bit of a kind of a Black Friday in the middle of the year when when typical retail sales are slow. Um, typically, Prime Day kind of coincides with people getting prepared for back to school. Uh, so that's out the window a little bit now, if it's going to be in October. Yeah. And <laughs> there are so many issues that are going to be at play. Now we're going to have potentially uh, two major events in Q4, plus yeah. of course, the entire month of December. Yeah, um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be nuts, and so we're let's uh, let's dig into some uh, some Prime Day prep tips and strategies, things we've done in the past, things that we um, are definitely gonna have to do differently uh, this year, just because of the way the calendar lays out and all the. I mean, there's just there's so much to unpack. I feel like in in this that could uh, that could help out uh, people that are trying to prepare for this because we didn't know until yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, no. be October thirteenth. Um, there was speculation across the board, but uh, now we know, and now we've got. I don't know what that is. I got to do some math, but it is not much. Tuesday, three weeks. Yeah, and, and what's what's funny about it is, so um, I've been creating lightning deals. Like every time I get a lightning deal opportunity, I create, create, create. And for like the last week, I couldn't get past. Like they wouldn't give me any deals past October like first or second or third. And I was like, what is going on? Normally I can get them all the way, like all up to November. Sure. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Um, then last night I refreshed it and I was able to launch a lightning deal, but the cutoff was October 11th. So that's the last day I could do October 11th. So I'm thinking like something's going on. And then I start seeing all these forms that 13th is the prime day. So it makes sense. Uh, it feels like, October yeah, I, kind of, I kind of lost you there for a second, Chris, but uh, you're back now. So. Yeah, it feels like the 13th is the day. Um, mm -hmm. if, it, if it's, um, we'll probably get some confirmations. Yeah, sure. I mean, every news report I've seen, every article I've seen today is uh, quoting that it's going to be October 13th. I haven't seen anything official from Amazon yet, but I think we just need to run with that being the case because there is um, a lot of preparation that we need to do. Uh, right now, I mean, three weeks is not enough, really, especially with the inf the difficulties right now. Sometimes with s sending an in inventory, and we also have the some of the caps that Amazon is putting on the inventory. I I was doing some reading, and I was, found it fascinating. There's some there's some interesting things uh, that people are talking about right now with this Prime Day and how Amazon might be using it as a a good way to just to clear stuff out of their warehouses. For sure. They, I mean, they, they could be overloaded on a lot of things and they're going to try to clear it out and they're because they're still putting limitations on what people can ship mm -hmm. in. And you would think it's a little bit counterintuitive. You would think they'd be opening up the floodgates right now to let people ship in because this could be, I mean, it's predicted to be one of the biggest prime days in history. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's another day. I mean, it, this could maybe cannibalize a little bit from Black Friday. I mean, if anybody's looking to uh, start their shopping a little early for Christmas, they, you know, they could be taking away some of that from from then. But uh, yeah, it, it's going to be real interesting. So, Chris, just sort of in terms of what, what you're doing right now to prep, um, like inventory, I mean, do, do you yeah. feel like you're comfortable with your inventory levels or how you know what multiple are you sending in versus a normal time a normal you know early first couple of weeks of october what does that look like for you 
Yeah, good question. And, and most of my concern with inventory starts back in like July for Q4. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to have enough inventory for Q3 and Q4 so I don't run out during those times. Um, so my inventory levels are good. I think if your inventory levels are a little suspect and running out of stock, you may want to have like fulfilled by merchant in the background so you can do that if you do run out of stock at Amazon. Uh, so you just create a new uh, listing or not a new listing, but you create a new cat, uh, what is it, condition mm -hmm. and you would do a fulfilled by merchant just kind of as a backup if you do run out of stock of your FBA product. Mm -hmm. uh, so I recommend doing that if you're a little thin because um, it's going to take a while for them to even check some stuff in for their FBA. Um, so get that prepared. Uh, but yeah, my inventory, uh, um, I think we're doing well. I, I got plenty of stock. Um, I'm just ready to sell through it. So we'll mm -hmm. see what happens. I, I'm excited. Um, what we talked in the last last episode, um, I, I've got a few products that I'm actually trying to liquidate. So this could not be better. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is a great opportunity to liquidate. I mean, if you do a lightning deal or a coupon or any uh, and dropping your price, all that in conjunction with these, you know, a prime day, the amount of traffic that's going to come. It's a great opportunity to liquidate. So if that's a situation you're in, if you if you've got a bunch of products that are um, in uh, their their Oh, you're getting the warehouse fees right now uh, or any of that, or you're trying to, to get rid of it. Now is a great time to, to be doing that for sure. Um, I, I also saw an interesting strategy. This is not something I've done. Um, I actually didn't really even know you could do this, but I saw an interesting strategy about actually creating a subcategory page on your storefront. That's all about your prime deal uh, that your yeah. prime day deals. Um, so that is, that's something great. That's something I'm going to actually experiment with this year. Uh, cause that can be a great landing page too. If you on your social media outlets or any of that, or if you're doing any outside marketing, you could drive it straight to your, uh, storefront page about your, uh, prime day deals. Uh, that could be just a great tactic as well. Uh, so I saw that. I really, I really like that idea. Of that can be something that can just be year round too. Like you could, you could change that title. So mm -hmm. Prime Day deal, Black Friday deal, after Prime Day is over with, Cyber Monday deal. You can just change that title, but you can keep that year round. And that way people, you can kind of build some brand loyalty there. If people come so, back and see your other deals you have. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's a, that's a great idea uh, to be doing it. What, um, in terms of right now, three weeks out from Prime Day, what would you be recommending to do for your advertising campaigns to get prepared? And what happens to advertising campaigns on days like Prime Day? Yeah, what some things I would do for your PPC campaigns uh, would be con consider bidding more aggressively or increasing your bids on your main keywords that you want to target. You want to do that now so that you can increase your ranking organically for that when Prime Day comes, your, your, your ranking has already increased. Uh, so I would review your PPC clicks or your PPC clicks. I would review your PPC campaigns and make sure that your bids are competitive enough um, so that you don't lose any of those placements and you do get more sales through your ads, which will increase your organic ranking just in time for Prime Day. Absolutely. That's a great point about building up that organic ring. I think on, on the opposite side of that coin, you want to be reviewing your campaigns as well uh, and making sure that you're getting rid of, especially if you've got auto campaigns, getting rid of uh, search terms that are not converting very well. Uh, because if those are on when Prime Day happens and, you're, and your traffic triples, quadruples, uh, there can be a lot of wasted spend. You don't want to have that happen. You can also cause you to run out of budget. Um, which talking about budget, once Prime Day hits, do you raise your daily budget? Yeah, I would. I would definitely do that. Um, maybe two or three times X your normal budget, and just keep an eye on it. You'll mm -hmm. run out. It, it'll Amazon will let you know when it's running out. Um, and if it makes sense to increase that budget, go ahead and do that. But I would definitely increase your budget either the night before or even the day before, because some people are going to probably be doing early shopping. Um, you know, with this whole thing going on uh, with the economy and the COVID and stuff, people are probably pretty anxious. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so I would imagine the traffic is going to be enormous. I would not be surprised if Amazon crashes, honestly. <laughs> I would not be surprised. I've seen that happen where the dogs show up on the listing. You're like, what the uh -huh. hell dogs? Are? So uh, get ready. I'm sure something like that might happen. But anyways, I would definitely increase your budgets because that's that's something you want to keep make sure your ads are still running. Absolutely. Now, uh, I didn't check my I didn't check inside Seller Central yet this morning uh, to see if they've opened up lightning deals yet. I know we were talking about that, but that lightning deals on Prime Day are another huge strategic maneuver uh, that you want to go for. What what is your strategy there with lightning deals on on Prime Day? So like uh, let's see, Prime Day is normally in July. So back in oh I want to say March or April. They made everybody submit their Prime Day deals then. Mm -hmm. And then when they moved Prime Day, the deals still stayed. Um, you just had them out. They just kept pushing them out further. Mm -hmm. So they're still, you can't. So after July, you I wasn't able to submit any new Prime Day deals. I could just do lightning deals. That, that, well, that may be new lightning deals. So we'll see, but I, I've been running aggressive lightning deals just to keep my ranking high and get those volume and get that sales velocity up. Sure. I wonder if they're going to open up more opportunities for Prime Day deals um, now. Maybe, yeah, they might now. I mean, it'd be, it, there's, a, there's a whole different catalog of products that could take advantage of this. I mean, if you're selling Halloween costumes or yeah. uh, anything of that, of uh, fall decorations, um, I mean, now is the, that would be a, Great opportunity. So we'll be keeping our eyes out to see if they open up more, more spots, spots for that for sure. Um, what else you got, Chris? What's another? Any any other tips that you want to? Yeah, I got a list here. I'll just touch base on, and then you can. We'll circle around and talk a little bit about these. But one of the things I may be doing right now, especially for preparing for Prime Day, is audit your listing. Uh, check your listings. Make sure you have the right title. They're good bullet points. Your images are fantastic. Make sure your descriptions are up to date. Uh, all that stuff is going to help with the prime day experience. You're going to get people come to your listing. You obviously don't want them to leave your listing. You want to get that conversion rate high. So making sure your titles are good, your bullets are good. Images are fantastic. Uh, descriptions are good. All that's going to be, um, super, super, uh, important to do. Um, some things I'll, I'll kind of mention on the, on the, on the listings here on the images, uh, you can do things. Uh, some of this is kind of be careful with, but you can do things. I've seen people do this where you can add like a badge to your like secondary image or your third image that says something along the lines of like today's deal or today's special to, just mm -hmm. to kind of highlight that maybe you're doing like a prime day deal. Mm -hmm. um, that, that might be something you could play around with just to kind of increase the conversion rate. But um, that's, that's a kind of a tip I'd see uh, people doing. Another one is, uh, if you have A-plus content and your brand registered, uh, Amazon now allows you to, like, you can split test your A-plus content. Um, A-plus content is now showing up, like, higher on the on the listing, especially on mobile. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you who don't know what A-plus content is, it's below the bullets. Um, it, it gives you more of an area where you can show more images, do more infographics, talk mm -hmm. a little bit more about your brand, um, but I would split test that and Amazon's got a tool where you could split test that or, uh, you get somebody to create you some A plus content pretty quickly. Um, another, another one is the Amazon coupons, lightning deals we talked about, but there's also there's little Amazon coupons you can add mm -hmm. to a listing where someone can save 10%, 5%, a dollar, $2. You can pick the amount. What I've seen work best is choosing a dollar amount. So when somebody comes to your listing, rather than making them figure out what 20% of the price is that they're saving, just give them like $3 off. And that that's, that resonates more with that customer. And your conversion rate will be a little, a little bit higher because they don't have to sit there and try to figure out how much they're actually saving. Mm -hmm. um, I think you get more clicks that way too. So I would, when you use the Amazon coupons, uh, use the dollar amount as as the setting um, and, and give one, $2 off. Um, we talked about me, reviewing. Let me let me jump in on that one because it brings up an interesting point. Um, the, the with all this traffic, you're trying to take any little advantage that you can have, okay? And and especially like on mobile, there's only a certain amount of area that people see. They you know they they just see uh, your title, maybe your first image. There's very few, few things that you can change, but that coupon is one of them. 
Uh, when you add a coupon, that's right up there at the top of the listing, especially on mobile. It's a badge. Um, it's bright such green. A, it's bright green. It's such a differentiator, and it's you know obviously a nice discount really stands out. But just having a discount in general, I think, is a great strategy, and it's something you definitely want to do when you're going to have this many eyeballs on your listing, and you're going to have all of your competitors are trying to you know attract those same eyeballs and th those are little things that can make a big difference especially in conversion rate mm -hmm. um, so i just wanted to jump in i think it those it, it's just good to focus on those things that don't take much time to do and um, don't hurt you that much but can make a in really really big impact and that's that is for sure one of them now to kind of piggyback on that you can adjust your sales price too like um some i, I don't know if i would discount your price so much for prime day. Cause there's going to be a lot of traffic here. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, I would probably either raise it now or, or raise it, you know, here in a few days. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, just keep it like that for the, for the remaining until prime day is over. Uh, Cause we're coming into the shopping season and, and there's going to be a ton of traffic. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good chance for you as a seller to make maybe a little bit more margin on an item. Now on the flip side of that, if there's something that you just want to get rid of and liquidate, then by all means, that was awesome, an awesome chance to move that too. So you could do both, but um, I know I'm going to probably experiment with raising my price a little bit, a dollar, maybe a $2. I wouldn't probably go really crazy because you may lose the buy box when you set the, when you adjust your price too high. Um, <clears throat> it was last 30 days. So I would take advantage. I wouldn't do it too much. Um, but that's, that's another one. Um, I got a few more here. I want to touch real quick on. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's a feature now inside Amazon that, that you can uh, request a review um, by going to uh, the order number uh, of your last 30 days. You can click mm -hmm. on the order number. And there's a request a review button uh, inside that. What that is is Amazon will send that customer a email asking them how they rate that product that they bought from you. And all the customer has to do is just give it a one through five rating. They don't have to write a paragraph out. They don't have to give it a title. They just have to rate mm -hmm. it. That counts as a review on the listing. And so the more you can gather those, uh, the higher conversion rate you're going to have, the more clicks you're going to get, uh, your review count's going to go up. Uh, there's tools out there that you can do this in bulk. But if you have a few orders and you want to try to get some reviews and try to increase those reviews on your listings, go to your order section inside your Seller Central account and look for the orders from the last 30 days and just click on that order number. And in the top right, you'll see the button that says request review. Yeah, and that's actually, that's a fairly new feature. Um, I don't know when that, it was, a, it was a few months ago that that came out, um, maybe longer. This, this whole pandemic makes time. <laughs> I, I don't even know what, what is it, August? It's almost yeah, October. Yeah, maybe it was, October, maybe, October. Maybe, what is it? Maybe it was eight months ago that it came out or nine months ago. It feels like yeah. it was just the other day. Um, but the old way of getting reviews were with follow-up emails. Uh, I've noticed a, a much better, uh, conversion rate on these emails going out from Amazon to getting reviews. I get yeah. a much better response, uh, than I did with, um, my, my follow-up emails I used to send. So, uh, it's, it's absolutely worth going in there and hitting those. You, you will get reviews from that. Uh, and that will obviously will help your listing convert better. Uh, now, if, you, if you have like a following or if you have an email list or if you have some type of messenger li list or whatever, this is another good chance for you to reach out to that list and draw or uh, drive some traffic to that listing that you're trying to promote. Uh, anytime, anytime you can send outside traffic to your Amazon listing, uh, Amazon loves that. It's going to help you rank better. Uh, and besides, you don't have to like uh, kind of compete with other competitors, especially if you're sending your, your list or your customers, whether it be from your Shopify store or your email list, whatever it is, to your listing, uh, they're only going to see your listing. So it's it's a chance for them to, for you to get that sale. Uh, that That's a way to increase your, uh, your ranking. You could also do Facebook ads during this time. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people doing that, but you could run Facebook ads to a listing during this, you know, prime day week, I would probably do it for a week just to kind of keep the ball moving. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's just things you could do. Uh, a lot of little things that people may not think about doing, but uh, those are some things I would check out. Absolutely. And I'll, I'll tell you what I'm excited about. So 
typically in the past, um, like this is going to be my, I guess, seventh prime day or sixth or seventh prime day um, as a seller. Typically in July, uh, that's when my sales typically are the slowest for my particular categories that I'm in. So prime day, I was super aggressive on prime day and I always got this, um, the effect of being, my sales velocity would just continue for weeks after prime day because I'd be ranked so high now organically because I was one of the few that was very aggressive. I was doing every prime day deal. I was at doing coupons. So I, my sales would, I'd have five to six times my normal daily sales on uh, prime day. And then that would just continue uh, for weeks. Well, in the past, when it's in July, that was great to get that bump and get that sales. But then I'd have to kind of re-engineer that for the beginning of Q4. So I move up. So this is exciting because mm -hmm. if you're, I would be doubly aggressive now on this prime day, because if that really boosts you and you can ride this wave, I mean, you could be riding the wave into the highest sales quarter in Amazon's history. I'm going to keep that word doubly. I like that. Doubly aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right, though. Like, there's no break here. There's no, no. It's not really a big break. It's going to go October 13th, let's say, and we'll wait for an official word, I guess. But it's going to be October 13th. And then literally, like, a month after that is going to be, like, the buying season. Yeah. I know it's I, not necessarily Black Friday, sorry, Monday type yet, but it's going to roll right into it. There's not going to be a big break there. Mm -mm. So I would... I would see this as a big Q4. Like this could be some of the shopping may be done earlier. Like maybe Black Friday and Cyber Monday won't be as big because everybody's going to start doing it now. Like that, maybe October. That will, be, that will be very interesting to see um, for sure. I also think, I mean, the only trick in all of this is going to be inventory. Yeah. I mean, you it's a this is a real trick you want because you want to be prepared. You want to have all your inventory in there. Uh, but you do not want to have a load of inventory January 1st oh. um, that's going to sit there. Um, so I think there's going to be some tricks and we'll see how Amazon handles all of that during that. Are they going to, are they going to be receiving shipments quickly? Uh, I really like your uh, having the FBM listing uh, tip yeah, that you suggested course. earlier. I think that's, you know, if, if inventory goes wonky and, you know, like nobody can ship stuff in, then FBM, may not be a deterrent necessarily to the customer because it's you just got to be ready you got to be ready to make shipments because you're going to get some sales <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, you better, yeah for sure but um yeah well this is exciting i, I think we've covered a lot of uh tips and yeah. strategies i learned some stuff today that i'm going to implement uh i'm excited about can't wait to see how this all shakes out um if you guys are interested in maybe making sure your ad campaigns are set up properly and uh, you know, you've got weeks here to optimize those campaigns. Uh, Chris and I would love to talk to you uh, somewhere, either in the show notes or if you're watching this uh, above or below this video, there'll be a link where you can uh, schedule a call or you can go to solozo.com and schedule a call with either Chris or I. Uh, we can, we'd love just to talk to you, see how, um, you know, help consult on your ad strategies. And then um, if it looks like Solozo would be a good, good fit for you to, to optimize your ads uh, up till Prime Day, we'd love to get you set up uh, with a free trial. We also have, if you wanted to go ahead and take advantage of that right now, we have a coupon code, uh, which is podcast20. That will get you 20% off your first month of Solozo, plus a 14 day free trial, plus a call with either Chris or I, plus an onboarding okay, call with our support team. You're going to, uh, you'll, you'll have a lot of people to talk to about your ad campaigns for sure. Uh, so the, again, that's podcast 20. Uh, you can go to solozo.com and sign up and get your ads optimized for prime day. Anything you want to add to that, Chris? No, I think that was good. Let's, uh, just keep it moving. I think that that was a good, a lot of information there. Absolutely. Well, again, everybody, thanks for tuning into the podcast. Thanks for joining us live on Facebook. If you're out there, this, again, is the third episode of our podcast, and we will be back at it tomorrow with episode four and hope to see you all here. Have a great day, Chris. See ya. Bye-bye.